expecting to begin and an incredible view from the forward portion of the booster this is basically on top of the super heavy booster where we have jettisoned that off stage and now we can see this incredible view of earth as it's making its way back down to the gulf of mexico and you can see those grid fins on your left hand screen rotating and turning to guide the booster and there's Raptor engines. 
expecting those to end just like you can see that those have also successfully come off. This entire flight test, there's 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles surrounding the bottom portion or the earth facing Celsius, side of the ship. Great call outs there. Now, during atmospheric re entry, the vehicle is going to see temperatures as high as 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit or over 1,400 degrees Celsius. So, those tiles are there to help protect the vehicle from this extreme heat. Yeah, and the flaps will help control it. Now, one noticeable difference I see immediately um, those flaps are not moving as much as they were on flight three. So, that is a great sign, right? We had uh, unplanned loss of uh, roll control on flight three, so we added some additional thrusters and we can see that uh, they're working well and we have a much stable, more stable view. So these flaps, there's four of them, two at the top and two at the bottom. Um, they're made out of stainless steel and uh, yeah, they, they help steer steer the ship, which as you can see, Cosma continuing to build. Uh, now, if the ship survives re-entry, <laughs> it will have to perform a flip maneuver uh, as well as a landing burn. We saw this demonstrated a couple, in a couple of high altitude flight tests back in like 2020, 2021. Um, similarly- Something increasing on the nose within expected ranges. Great news there. Uh, that we have here. Oh, this, is the, this is the same view that we had when we first uh, returned from the coast phase. Again, this is looking at the side of one of the flaps. And Again, it's incredible that literally at the bottom of this picture, we're basically looking through plasma, <laughs> which is just, absolutely mind-blowing wild very wild now we are expecting entry to begin here in about 30 seconds or so entry to splashdown is expected to last about six minutes long and that flip maneuver should occur around uh, about 10 minutes before splashdown shield is working with the atmosphere for some like free breaking okay <laughs> the, the atmosphere is helping to slow the starship down yeah, exactly. We're not using any engines or thrust to slow the vehicle down, exactly what Kate mentioned. We're just using the atmosphere and those heat shield tiles protecting the vehicle as it's coming through that high heat temperature. Yeah. Now, this is another one of those moments that we have been waiting for. Right now, the ship is currently re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, and by all looks and all call-outs that we're hearing on the net, it is doing pretty well. Still a ways to go. We're at about 64 kilometers in altitude right now. We made it through what's expected to be the peak heating, but now we're going to start encountering the increased pressures as the atmosphere gets thicker and thicker. I mean, at 65 kilometers. So again, what, what we're really looking at here is the performance of the heat shield of the flaps, of the seals of the flaps. There's just a whole bunch of different areas that we're keeping a really close eye on as we re-enter. Starship remains on a good entry trajectory. We intentionally put those at really the least critical part of the heat shield, uh, where if you had any kind of a breach, it wouldn't be great for reusability, but it wouldn't be critical for actually uh, making it through the re-entry to the landing. 58 kilometers, we're continuing to descend. And right now we are we are over the Indian Ocean. We're actually uh, getting closer and closer to that expected splashdown point, which is just to the uh, off the northwest corner of Australia. We're going to start getting to, to transonic pretty soon, and then after that we'll get into subsonic, where we're we're moving less than the speed of sound. But wow, what a light show so far! External temperatures are starting to come down. This camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. Looks like we've got the flaps starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> this is 
wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down. This is incredible to see. How far can they go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times for the, you know, our teams are, are sitting uh, and reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are. As you can see, there's an obvious <laughs> hot spot in there with the flap, um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat re-entry as possible. Oh, Look at that. that. It's back. by the cheering behind us. There's still a sizable crowd here at Mission Control Center, Hawthorne. A splashdown is expected in just about four minutes from now. We still have live views. Sterling is doing an incredible job. Thank you for your back so bad. You don't have any pressure. Thank you so much. Okay, good news. Those external pressures are dropping. The question is, how much is the ship is left? <laughs> can't really tell. We can still see uh, some of that particulate coming off. Um, and unfortunately, we do have a cracked camera lens. Just like Flight 3, we are targeting a spa uh, splashdown in the water in the Indian Ocean. And we got that live view back. Yes. And go under a thousand kilometers per hour. Yeah. Starting at 20 kilometers altitude. Now keep in mind that even though we can't see anything, uh, the, 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 data, the data itself is what we really uh, are. Starting with subsonic. Subsonic, they're telling us it's traveling below the speed of sound. over the ocean. All this data is incredibly important. Even if, uh, you know, it breaks up right now. Okay, you can see that flap actuating. Okay, the next milestone will be initiation of the flip maneuver and landing burn. Keep an eye on the bottom right corner of your screen for those three center engines to relight. It will dimple or uh, angle so that the ship flips itself back up vertical and hopefully lands in a vertical position. This is incredible. Getting very close to splashdown. These fireflies are such a good sign of life right now. <laughs> Thank you.